This is a luscious dessert with very few ingredients and it's definitely a showstopper. This is my red berry Charlotte and I remember growing up and asking mum to always get this for all of my birthdays and I think when I was younger I loved that vibrant pink colour that you got from this dessert. Now mum would always buy this for me at the French patisserie but I'm going to show you how to make it. It is quite easy. So lots of berries, like I said, strawberries in there, some raspberries, fresh raspberries here. We're going to puree this and make it into a coolie. But just to emphasise the sweetness of all these berries and to make it into a coolie, I'm going to add caster sugar and three quarters of a cup goes into the blender. And now I'm going to blitz this until it's really, really smooth and then strain it because of all those little seeds that you collect in the raspberries and the strawberries, I don't want them in this dessert. So straining is the best thing to do. Oh, have a look at that. This is just... Glorious. The simple things, sugar and raspberries create that. I love it. And now let's pour it through the sieve so it's nice and smooth. It seems like quite a lot, but you do need this amount so it holds up the cake. While that's straining, I'm just going to bloom some gelatin. Now, this is titanium gelatin, and I've got one, two, about six gelatin leaves here. Again, this is going to support the cake, so I need to place some water into a bowl with the gelatin leaves, just separate them a little bit. We just want to make sure that they're really under that water so they soften. So that won't take long at all. Great. And now we want to force all of this mixture through this sieve so we get just the best of the berries coming through. And look at the result. Pure, glossy goodness right there. Now I need to heat up a little bit of this. So just with a ladle, I'm just going to spoon about one and a half ladlefuls of this into this pot. And then I'm going to add the gelatin. Now essentially what I'm doing here is just heating it up so this gelatin dissolves. So squeeze all that excess water out of the gelatin as much as you can get. And then that can go in and mix it in and as soon as that does start to dissolve, we'll take it off the heat. You don't want this to be boiling. You just want to gently and lightly stir it until there's no lumps at all. I'm going to turn that off now. Now that is looking pretty good. So I'm going to take that spoon out and we can pour that straight back in to our berry coolie. So let's get onto the cream now. In a large bowl, I need 400 millilitres of whipping cream, cold whipping cream. The colder the cream is, the easier it is to whip. So one and a half. And to this, I'll add two tablespoons of caster sugar and some vanilla beans. Now, two plump vanilla beans here, and I'm going to scrape all those gorgeous seeds out and start whisking. Now, I want to whisk this until I get firm peaks. Now, this is what I'm looking for when it comes to the cream. Nice, thick, luscious cream. Now instead of adding all of this cream straight into this mixture over here, I'm going to add a third now and you can be a little bit rougher with it. You don't have to be folding very gently at this stage. And then I'm going to add another third, fold in, and then that last third is when you really want to be very gentle with it and fold it just so lightly so this looks like clouds. Just put the last bit of cream in and this is where you want to be so light and so gentle. And I've lined a 22 centimetre spring form tin with a little bit of baking paper. Now what I've got over here is some Saviati biscuits or some dried sponge biscuits. These are going to form a collar for this wonderful masterpiece. And all you need to do is place these 
upright along the collar of this springform tin. Now you can see that I've just cut the base off so they sit up nicely. And once I've gone around here, and you need about 22 to 28 biscuits all up, I'm going to line the center with some extra bickies. And I'm just going to drizzle on a little bit of Grand Marnier, which is an orange liqueur. And it's gonna go fantastic with this dessert. Now that I've lined this, so there's a beautiful crown of biscuits, I'm going to fill this up. And when I fill this up, it reminds me of filling up a swimming pool, a pink swimming pool, if you like. This is so much fun. And if you've got kids and they're making this, they are going to love you because it's just the theater of it that's exciting too. So you'll see that it doesn't go all the way to the top because once this is set, I'm going to add so many more berries. And I'm just going to smooth over the top there just a little bit so it's even. And now that goes in the fridge. Be patient, give it a good six hours or even better overnight. This has come out of the fridge. You can see that that mousse has set perfectly and I've chopped lots of berries. I've got raspberries and some extra strawberries here. And now the moment of truth. I'm going to take that collar off very carefully. Ta-da! <laughs> it's sticking nicely there. So carefully lift it with confidence. You gotta have confidence with things like this. And then with one swift movement, just slide it off the base and take that out. <sighs> Success. That makes me happy. Now we need to finish this masterpiece. So I'm going to grab these strawberries and you want to pile them up in the centre of the charlotte and lots of berries. Don't be stingy on the berries. And some raspberries and just pouring them on top. Isn't that pretty? This makes me happy because it reminds me of my childhood. All we need now is some candles. How old am I now? 30. I need 30 candles and I'm still loving this cake every birthday. <laughs>